10 rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. His adversary, hailing out of both forwards, Smokin' Joe Frazier. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Mike Tyson. The two snapping jabs by Joe Frazier. Little head knocking with that right hand. Joe Frazier reminds me of one of those cartoons right now with birdies flying around his head. He needs to get rid of those big shots. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two. Frazier's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Mike Tyson's getting his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Goes up top with the right hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Once the inside fighter does get to the inside where he's comfortable, what can you do? And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Tyson's rocked. What's good for you is good for him. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Joe Frazier. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action. Both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in the shape, because more to come. We got it. You don't need that. Throw that away. Frazier's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest, and also they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And Tyson with a block punch. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Frazier's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Fires right back at him. Is damaged badly there and yet another big shot comes in and once again he goes down the question is can he rise up again one two three four five six seven 
Frazier's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, show some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Good two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. And now he scores with that left to the body. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Final 10 seconds of round number two. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Frazier's hope for an evening going his way seems like it is out the door and gone. He went down in that last round, and he's been down numerous times tonight. And you gotta wonder whether or not this fight should continue. Tyson's three-punch combination there is gonna impress the judges. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. Not able to land the headshot. Combo lands to the head. Keep it going. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Big shot, the right came clean. Joe Frazier's knowledge of the game is showing through. Big shot there. What a nice job by Frazier's opponent that time. Getting right into the kitchen against Joe Frazier and smoking him. fight. Frazier's unable to get up and continue on. By way of knockouts, your There's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout on a left field a product of